Welcome to Time to Cook. I'm Chef Christy, and today we're going to make a skillet dinner. And it is super easy and quick. It's all made in one skillet, and it is skillet cabbage casserole. There's only a few ingredients, but it is, it is delicious. And these are my kind of weeknight meals. This can be made in 30 minutes, so let's get started. Okay, to a skillet, I have one and a half pounds of ground beef, and to that, I'm going to add a half of a cup of diced red onion. This is one of those dump and go meals. And my seasoning is, I have one teaspoon of salt, one uh, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a uh, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a fourth of a teaspoon of, of dried thyme. So I'm gonna add that my seasoning. And then I'm going to use a half of a cup of brown rice. And this is a brown jasmine rice. So I'm gonna add that. All right. Then I'm going to add my garlic. Okay, so now I'm adding one clove of garlic. Stir that around. And I have one 14 and a half ounce can of the diced tomatoes. They're, they're the roasted diced tomatoes. And as you notice, I'm just dumping all this in. My meat is not even completely cooked because it is all going to cook together while I go. And then I have one cup of beef broth. So I'm adding that. And then I'm going to add my cabbage. Okay, so I have one head of cabbage. And I know that seems like a lot. But it will cook down. And if you if you don't want to use rice, if you would want to do a more um, low carb, you could omit the rice. But I um, I added the rice. You you could use broccoli rice if you wanted to do low carb. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover this and let this all cook for about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna. I will, I will uncover it and stir. So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. I just said broccoli rice and I meant to say cauliflower rice. Do you see what happens to me sometimes? Okay, my uh, cabbage has been, has been cooking for a good 10 minutes and so now I'm just gonna stir it and I'm gonna let this cook for another Probably another 10 minutes or so just to make just to make sure that rice is nice and absorbed. Brown rice does take a little bit longer than than your other rice, so I just want to make sure that's good and absorbed. But I'm gonna cover that for another 10 minutes. Okay, so it has been cooking for 10 more minutes, and most all of the liquid is cooked out and it's absorbed into the rice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some shredded cheddar it's a cheddar and monterey jack blend and i'm just going to add all this all over the top and then i'm going to put this in the broiler just to um brown my cheese just a little bit for maybe just a minute or two just so that my cheese will melt and get nice and brown and then i'll show you what it looks like okay it has been in my oven and broiled and the cheese is nice and golden okay the skillet cabbage casserole is done. And what I'm going to do is I've got some green onions and I'm just gonna sprinkle them all on top. That just gives it an added color. And then I'm gonna plate this up. Oh, this is so good. I really hope you try it and the rice is nice and cooked. Now, this is optional as well.
just take a little bit of sour cream and I'm just gonna put a little bit of sour cream on top of my piece and a little bit of the green onion all right so let's taste it let's spread that sour cream all around Oh, that is so good and so simple. I mean, just a few ingredients and it is delicious. So I really, really hope that you try this. And just so you want, if you want to know where the recipe is, it is in the little box below. And if you click the arrow, it should open up the description box. And that's where you're going to find the recipe for this delicious one skillet meal. So thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try this.